What's going on guys? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom and this channel is all about showing you guys the different makes and models as they arrive here at Camper Kingdom. Well today is uh, December the 30th and look at that, I'm a t-shirt. The t-shirt is just that nice out here in Mississippi. But last night this uh, 2021 Palomino Puma arrived so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on it, show you what it's about, just a quick run through from the ins and outs. So if you're new here, click that subscribe button down below. It helps me out. So let's get started. So we're gonna start you from the front and work your way to the back. This video could be a little lengthy. So if you want to browse through the different sections, totally understand. Electric tongue jack on this unit here. Uh, I'm a little bit of a neat freak, so I kind of like the idea where they, they started putting these organizers on these units, you know, to keep these chains off the ground or from keeping them wrapped around there. It does have the bigger propane bottles. Of course, those will be filled when the unit is sold. Palomino, Palomino Puma has put the uh, battery disconnect switch up there. That's a different style this year. That's different. Like the uh, the diamond plate there. Coach has the six gallon gas and electric hot water heater. In my opinion, they could have done bigger. Bigger is always better, right? Electric stabilizers underneath this coach with a fully enclosed underbelly. Just simple press of a switch and those will deploy. Yeah, they'll go down to a, a certain amount of pressure, and once they reach that pressure, then they'll just stop completely. That will not level the camper. Just stabilize it. Quick view of your outdoor kitchen. The spray nozzle, showing you how it's actually hooked up here. That's one good way to wake up your spouse on an early morning when you're out here cooking eggs on your gray stone. Little mini fridge as well. These are nice to have when you don't want to keep traffic in and out of your camper. Coach does have the, the new steps that do flip up and inside. I was trying to get a shot of the adjustable legs. So this lever here is a lot nicer than the previous model where there was a pin that would go in and out. So that's that's nice to see how that is, you know, adjusted with just that pin there. It's the extended season packaging. So this coach is pretty much good for winter camping or full time. Nice big, that's about a 20 foot awning from tip to tip. Let's see if I can run you around to the back real quick. All right, here on the back of the coach, uh, two slide outs on this side here. With this being a front kitchen, you're gonna have a couple of different sewer dumps. You got one up there, I'm trying to get my finger to point at it, and you got another back here. So that's something you do have to take in consideration when purchasing all your different sewer lines. So you're gonna need a couple different ones. Power hookups back here on the back of the coach, 50 amp unit, fully walkable roof, nice ladder there that's i don't understand why some coaches don't put it i mean everybody needs to get up there and keep these slides clean keep your slides clean of debris all right moving right along we're going to now move into the, the inside all right once again this is a, a front kitchen model which is in my opinion one of my favorite ones having the kitchen up front you know just better separation sleeper sofa here i'll pull that out and show you eventually these are manual recliners but the cup holders in the middle with a little bit of storage space there this is not leather it's more of a cloth got the nice booth there that will lay flat to a bed and when it's down the magnets this year are going to keep that tabletop in place and keeping it from sliding when you're in trap you know actually traveling quick shot of your storage area there 110 outlet underneath the table I also want to point out the uh, the slow rise shades. These are not blackouts, you know, not completely like some of the other models, but they do keep do a rather good job of keeping the sun out of there. Nice white cabinets this year. Everybody's going to the lighter colors. And I really like the uh, LED lights underneath uh, the cabinets and up there as well. Show your oven. Coach is about. 37 feet in length has a draw weight of 8,387 pounds. I would not consider pulling this with a half ton, it's just my opinion. I think this is a little heavy, but everybody's different, every, every truck is different, so that's just it. It's my opinion. Fireplace with a sound bar. Do have outdoor speakers as well. TV could go there. They don't send 
the TV's from, with the Pumas. All your controls are located over here, so all your monitoring stations for your tanks, light switches and slide and awning there. Taking you inside the shower, plastic foot flush. My darn screen is going black. Why does it do that? Somebody tell me why. There it goes. Nice size shower. I'm gonna. I'm six foot two. I'm gonna stand inside the shower. Flip the camera around just to show you how much room is in there. Exhaust fan on the roof. So once again, I'm six two, and as you can see, my my head's inside the dome. Give you a quick shot of what it looks like. You know, for some of you bigger guys, the corner shower is the way to go. Some of you like it, some of you don't. I like it. Big windows. King size bed back here in the master bedroom with a bedroom slide, washer and dryer connections. I like it. I wash a lot of darn clothes. I use a lot of clothes every day. I don't know why. So one thing I do in my videos, I do a, a bed raising test. I've got many customers to talk about, you know, not being able to lift these beds up with because they don't have those cylinders. Those cylinders make so much sense. I don't understand why some manufacturers don't put them on there. So if any of you manufacturers are watching these videos, you should put those on there. Let me get this closed. Flip you around for you the chest of drawer there. Three storage. And uh, there's a ticker for the TV backer back sticker for the TV backer. Roof mounted AC with your temperature controls from there so that's gonna wrap it up for the video give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button let me know where I can do better I would appreciate it thank you